Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, whereby we are going to learn and experience together. Today we are going to have our biology form 2, lesson 17, whereby your tutor will be me, Mr. Gerald. We are going to handle the topic on uh, transport in animals under the subtopic immune responses. And uh, before the, uh, that, we can have uh, the following lesson goals, whereby by the end of the lesson, you should be able to uh, differentiate between acquired and inherited uh, immunity. So for you to be able to differentiate the two, you must be very keen with the lesson. Welcome. We are first going to uh, introduce, to do some uh, do something on the introduction of the immune responses, whereby uh, immune responses are reactions that involve production of antibodies by the lymphocytes due to the presence of antigens in the body. An antigen is a substance that is foreign to the body and provokes the body's immune system to produce antibodies. Uh, these antigens can be uh, can either be pathogenic, micro uh, pathogenic microorganisms, whereby they are toxins or uh, they are molecules. Um, they are not needed in the body. Antibodies are proteins produced by the lymphocytes in a response to the presence of an antigen in the body. So that is to mean the two try to fight uh, each other in the body. That is um, the the foreign material, which is the, the antigen, and also the uh, the antibody, whereby the function of the antibody is to um, protect the body against any foreign infection. Um, the antibody's chemical composition is complementary to the antigen against which it reacts. Therefore, specific antibodies are released in, in response to specific antigens, rendering the antigens harmless. This is how lymphocytes protect the body against infection. During immune responses, the body also increases the production of phagocytes that um, enhances the, f uh, the fight against pathogens by phagocytosis. Now, we can... Um, that is an, uh, an, an, a representation of how our immune responses um, react in the body because we have said that when a foreign, um, a foreign uh, organism, either which is in this case we are calling it as uh, the antigen, gets in the body, the body reacts by producing antibodies to go and fight against the, um, the antigen. Now, we are going now to, because now the body has got its own immunity, we are going to look at something um, on immunity of the body, whereby uh, we can say that immunity, this is the ability of an animal to resist infection or counter the effects of toxins produced by the antigens. Remember, we have said that these to uh, antigens are foreign materials uh, in the body, so they, uh, they produce toxins which are not required by the body, um, that is to mean if they are left unattended to, they will cause diseases. There are two types of immunity in the human body. One type of immunity, we call it uh, inherited immunity, and we have what we call uh, acquired immunity. So the two types of immunity, we've said that it is the inherited immunity and also the acquired immunity. Now we are going to, uh, I'm going to explain each, whereby... Um, the inherited, uh, the acquired, uh, that is the, the inherited immunity is also known as the innate immunity. So as you can see from uh, our um, screen, the innate immunity is what I'm referring to as the inherited immunity. Remember we can say it is the type of immunity that one is born with. It is passed on from parent to offspring and uh, this form of immunity is non-specific as it offers protection from many types of antigens. Um, the inherited immunity, this one is not specific to any type of a disease, but uh, that is why you, at least your, immu your, um, your immune system is very strong. You cannot just be, uh, you cannot acquire just any disease because of the acquired, um, that is the inherited immunity. We are now going to look at something of, uh, on the acquired immunity, whereby you can see the acquired immunity is um, immunity to uh, particular infections that is not innate, but as developed in the animal's life as it interacts with its environment. Acquired immunity can develop either naturally, in which case it is called natural acquired immunity, or it can also develop artificially, and if it uh, developed artificially, it's called artificial acquired immunity. Whether developed naturally or artificially, acquired immunity can be active or passive in nature. 
So uh, we can uh, we say that uh, it can be active or passive in nature. Active immunity is the form of acquired immunity in which the body produces its own antibodies against infection, um, while passive immunity is a form of acquired immunity in which an individual is protected against infection by receiving antibodies. As the term passive suggests, the body is not stimulated to release antibodies of its own. Of its own. Now we can look uh, something on uh, the natural acquired immunity. This one is acquired naturally. So we can say, I've, uh, I'm sure aware that there are some certain diseases uh, which include uh, the measles, the smallpox, the chicken pox, the poliomyelitis. When attacked by such diseases, the people who recover completely from these diseases develop the resistance to any subsequent infection by s the same pathogens. If such individuals are attacked by the same pathogens again, they do not become seriously ill. This is because memory cells are able to recognize the antigens and stimulate the immune system to produce antibodies against the pathogens. This is known as natural ac uh, active acquired immunity. It develops when one recovers from an infection. This form of immunity is long lasting and at uh, times lasts for a lifetime. Uh, for example, in the case of measles. During pregnancy, the mother passes antibodies across the placenta to the fetus. This confers immunity against infection for some period of time. At birth, the baby gets antibodies from the mother through breast milk, especially in colostrum. This natural passive acquired immunity. We have an also another uh, form of uh, immunity, which we can refer to as artificial acquired immunity. Whereby we are just going to look um, the the, uh, the artificial acquired immunity. It is developed by vaccination. Remember, uh, once a child is uh, born, it is advisable that uh, you take the child for vaccination. So that that type of in um, immunity is known as artificial acquired immunity. Having uh, said and done that, we can have uh, the following activity whereby you are required to differentiate between natural acquired immunity and artificial acquired immunity. For more information on this lesson, you can refer to KLB, Secondary Biology Students Book 1, which is the fourth edition Nairobi, Kenya Literature Bureau. And to get uh, this lesson and other biology lessons, you can send us an SMS on the um, number that is appearing on our screen, or you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Elimu TV, or our Facebook page, which is also Elimu TV, or you tweet us at uh, limu tv um, underscore kenya thanks uh, thank you for watching and let us subscribe so that we may get more of the lessons welcome